I made this with cork and resin, and one of the suggestions I got was to try it again, but with dye. I haven't used this since, well, the last time we did this. We turn it on first. We plug it in first. of big pieces and small pieces, fine pieces and chunky pieces. And that's pretty much what we're getting here with the smoothie setting. And I know some of you are going to ask, this is only a shop blender. I did use our household blender way back when. Uh, I will not make that mistake again. For the mold, I was going to use one of these cups, but they're just not deep enough. But I had one of these modified two liter bottles left over that we did uh, for the resin rose. I have no idea how much resin I'm going to need. So the last time I did a mold in this size project, uh, it took 40 ounces of resin, but I didn't, I mean, I've got a ton of cork and that's gonna take up a huge volume. So I'm not really sure how much resin to mix. So I guess, I guess we'll just start with 30 ounces and see where that gets us. So we're using this Chill Ice 2, which is the same thing we used when I did my rose casting. This stuff is two to one, so I'm gonna do 20 ounces of resin and then 10 ounces of part B. And then we're gonna mix it together. 600 minutes of working time. This is a low stress time of your life. You have 10 hours, to mix the resin and get it wherever it needs to be. <laughs> and it doesn't smell bad. So I just finished mixing the resin. Okay. And now we have to be careful because we only have nine hours and 50 minutes left before it starts to set. <laughs> so we're really gonna, I don't wanna drag this process out. Okay. All right? Okay. But we really need some colors. Probably something bright. Okay, bright like these fluorescent colors that we've got. Something that will stand out against the cork. Okay, and won't look like something you'd find in a baby's diaper. All right, so maybe mix the green. Yeah, you know what that, yeah. And the- Maybe yellow, oh yeah, and oranges, keep those. Colors. Orange, we think orange is bad? I think it's too similar in a way to the cork. Okay. It won't contrast enough. All right, so we've got blues, we've got violet, We've got, uh, what's this one? Hot lips. Hot lips. So. You do a lot of, you've done blues. You've done a lot of blues. I guess that's true. Projects, so let's just All right, so we got right. violet or hot lips. <laughs> you gotta do hot lips. I do? Well, yeah. Hot lips. That's our official choice. Perfect. Thank you much. You're welcome, hot lips. <laughs> that's not, that's not my nickname. Uh, it's gonna take a good amount of pigment. See what that looks like. Wow, that's just instantly awful. Uh, so in Star Wars A New Hope, when the three of them go down the garbage chute, Pretty sure we just created the garbage chute terrain here. Close down all the garbage smashers on the detention level. Doesn't that look like that? There's something alive down here. I'm pretty sure there is. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna pour this awful concoction into the mold. Maybe I'm not. I might have regrets. Oh. What do you think? It's pretty. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's all rising up too. Oh. I don't know how to keep it from not going up higher. Cause look at there's, there's like no cork at the bottom here. 
Right, because cork floats. Right, cork floats. The pressure pot will push some of it down. Uh, I mean, under pressure. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. Either it works or it doesn't. I guess. Right. It doesn't look like it rose up any more than it had originally. So I guess I'm going to just fill this area up here with some more cork and maybe pour the resin on top of that and try to saturate it. And back into the pot for another 12 hours or so. So here's our blank all mounted on the lathe. You can see it came out of the pressure pot. Got a little bit extra here at the top. Um, will it be enough for this project? I don't know. I think that's about right. So the first one only goes in about an inch and a quarter, and then the next one goes in a whole bunch. Alright, that's the depth. And it looks like we're out of the cork at this point. So see how we've got a hard step there between the large bit and the small bit? So all we're going to do is smooth out the transition between those two parts. It's a little tedious. Cut the inside for a little while, stop the lathe, check the fit, cut the inside for a little while, stop the lathe. Check the fit. Cut the inside for a little. Stop the lathe. Check the fit. Cut the inside for a little. There we go. All finished. I don't want to hollow anymore. So what I need to do now is make a little cut right here so that this lip will slide over it. And we should be ready to turn the outside. It's just a really nice edge and super easy to touch up. I could regrind that whole bevel, but I don't want to waste the steel. So as I sharpen this tool, it'll just reestablish a new bevel. Nice. I just wanted to see how we were looking. I think it's really cool. Okay, I think I like that shape, so I'm just going to do a final planing cut with the skew. Definitely got some ribbons on this one. And a whole bunch in the back too from all that boring. Everybody's favorite time, sanding time.
it's not necessarily fun, but it is satisfying. And 800 takes us to the end of our sanding process. Through the micro mesh, they start at 1500 and go through to 12,000. You all know what's going on. Even infused with resin, I think the cork is kind of absorbing the liquid here. That's interesting. Wonder if that'll mess us up or not. My last step is usually a little plastic polish. And this really doesn't polish it anymore. I think the micro mesh really did the work. But it, um, it gives it a little shine. And I like it. That looks pretty good, I think. It's all completed. Sanded to 12,000 grit polished up. It's um, really interesting. It's super interesting. The color, which was the whole point of this, was to try a color in here because we already knew what it looked like from the bracelet. I like the, the hot lips color. It's a good choice, I think. And so. I like the solid bit on the bottom. I didn't think I was going to like that. I worked so hard not to have that. So when that sh ended up showing up at the end, I was actually really disappointed. But you're right. I think it's it makes it more interesting. It gives the illusion of the floating. Like they're still floating even though they're obviously stuck in place. Yeah, that's true. And it's got a good shape to it. It feels nice. Besides, that's one of the benefits of working with unusual materials, is to see the finished result and what you can get out of it. Not my favorite. But another experiment. Another experiment. <laughs>